Hey, welcome. And in the last video, we talked about install installing Flutter and setting everything up. So now we are ready to install Android Studio. The reason why we need to install Android Studio and other tools such as the iOS toolchain, but namely uh, Xcode, is because Android Studio is the tool, the central tool that has all of the dependencies, all of the libraries we'll need to have to be able to create Android applications. So that is the reason why we must install Android Studio, okay? Because it has everything, all of the SDKs that we need for creating Android apps. Just like Android Studio, Xcode is what allows us to create application for iOS. So we will also need to install the Xcode, which you can do on your own time. But in this video, we're going to learn, we're going to go ahead and install Android Studio. To do that, what we can do, we can just go ahead and type in install Android Studio on our browser and click on the first link you find. And there we go. And right there, you see it's developer.android.com and it says here, install Android Studio, download the latest version of Android Studio. So this is what you always must do. So just go ahead and click in there. And then you have this awesome website here with a lot of information. So as you can see right now, it's 3.4, 3.1.4. So we can go ahead and download Android Studio from here and you can read more about it if you wish to do so. What we're interested in right now is to go down here and click download Android Studio. So we're going to click there. And of course, we have to accept certain terms and conditions in order for us to download. Easily just check that and click download. Now, Android Studio is a big file of files, so it may take a little bit depending on your internet speed. But fear not, it should all work out. It should all do its work. And as soon as it's done, we should come back. And there it is. It's done. Magic. All right. So to install it, we just double click and it will start to open and decompress everything. And now I'm going to just pull it in into our applications. Take a few seconds here to transfer everything so that we actually have added it into our application so we can double click and start the installation. And this one is 3.1, as I said before, that is the version. But maybe by the time you are indeed uh, downloading this or watching this video, it may be a later version. So it doesn't matter as, as long as it is the latest version. So double click on Android Studio. And then here, you will just go ahead and just say open. I know it says abrir, it's in Portuguese, but it should say open on your machine. No problem. And once you do that, it will go ahead and oh, let me close that down. And there we go. We have this complete installation. So in this case, I will just go do not import settings because this is the first time that I am installing this. Okay, that's just the easiest way to do. Okay. You could have done the custom location if you wanted, but I'll just go stick with do not import settings. Click OK. And it will start updating, installing our Android Studio for us. It'll take a few seconds and there we go. Not even a second. <laughs> all right. So it says welcome back and all the stuff. So you're going to say next. Uh, option here to either install a standard or custom, right? So we're going to keep it custom I'm going to say next and here it gives you the option of either have default or the dark color so dark color is really good to your eyes because it's a kind of a dark theme but you choose what you want okay i like the dark color always because they say it's good for your eyes so i'm going to use that one i'm going to say next and now here is very important what we're we going to do we're going to tick this android virtual device so this will just help us to also download all of the dependencies that are needed for when we create our virtual devices, devices that we're going to use to emulate our application. So I would really encourage you to do so. So take the Android virtual device and also take the API 28. Okay. So that's totally fine. It says here an existing Android Studio SK was detected. In my case, you may not 
have that and that's totally fine if you see that but i'm assuming you won't have that so that's fine don't worry about it the reason why i see this is because i have installed previously in this case it's just saying that it will download the missing or outdated sdk component so it won't hurt anything really so no problem i'm just gonna go ahead and say next and here we have the option to add more juice or ram for our um, emulators so depending on how big of ram you have on your computer i like to at least give it a little bit more than the recommended that way it's faster uh, the emulators run faster and so forth so i'm gonna go a little bit over four point over four megabytes you choose what you what's good for you and then i'm just gonna say next and there we go, just a little summary of everything, um, what needs to be done. I'm gonna say finish, and it's gonna go ahead and download everything. Now remember, this may take a little longer for you, because remember for me, I already had SDK. What it's gonna do, it's just gonna go and update the things that I already have, right? Now, if this is your first time, obviously it will take longer, and that's fine. And it may ask you to put your a password for your computer there just put it in and say okay it will keep doing these these its installations after a little bit look at that everything should have gone smoothly okay a bunch of things have been installed and parsed just hit finish and voila now we can start our android studio so there is different things here you can start a new android studio project and so forth but what we are going to do here is we're going to go to configure and we are going to hit the plugins because we will need to actually add the Flutter and Dart plugins into Android Studio for this to work, okay? Also knowing that we are not going to use Android Studio to create our Flutter apps, but I'm gonna add it anyway, that way you have an option. So click there and now we go down here to browse repositories browse repositories will allow us to browse for any plugins that we can find okay so i'm going to click there and now i'm going to say flutter and there it is at the bottom there click on that and it says install okay i'm going to say install now it says here it requires another dependency in this case is dart he's asking um if you want us want to install that as well and obviously we need that because remember dart is the language flutter is the framework so dart is used in flutter that's why it says here in order to have flutter you have to have dart it makes a lot of sense say yes and we'll go ahead and install all the dependency and now we have to restart android studio so the changes are seen i'm gonna go to restart take a second there we go and look now we have this new item added say start a new flutter project this is good that tells us that we do indeed have our flutter installed okay now sometimes we have events that happen so you can click there it says that we need uh, an update for our id it's okay i can either go and say update i usually like to update whenever they tell me to update you should do the same and if for you it doesn't say update, don't worry, don't update, right? <laughs> so if it says update, just do go ahead and update it. It won't hurt anything for the most part. All right, so it's done. Say finish. And everything is still the same, which is great. Okay, so we can go ahead and create a new Flutter application here. Um, there's a few options. I want to say with Flutter application and project name we can put some name here doesn't matter exactly what but notice here we do have our flutter sdk and it really points to where we put our sdk remember which is great and then you can change your project location add description and so there's a lot of things you can do here but what we're interested in is just to create a simple project so that we can make sure that everything is working correctly next and here, company domain, uh, just leave it as it is. I'm going to say finish. Now it's creating our Flutter project. Being this the first time may take a few seconds. Ah, magic. There we go. Now we do have, ladies and gentlemen, our Flutter project. This is very exciting. As you can see here, there's a lot of things that are happening. You can tick that, show this on startups so that it doesn't bug us 
every time or you can leave it as it is so every time you start it will just show a tip of the day okay so that's your choice i'll just untick it and say close and there we go we have here our flutter <laughs> our flutter project and notice that we do have because i already have created all of the emulators uh, i see them here but in your case you probably won't see any this is why i'll have to show you later how to create an emulator mm -hmm.